<laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome back. I am Lonnie. Hey, I'm Candace. Welcome back. You can see we're back in a storage unit. We're doing a buy. Yeah. This is a third Saturday in a row we've done this, and mm -hmm. I think we might do it again. Yep. Unless something weird happens this time, and we storm off mad or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. We are back here again with Kevin and Danielle. Thanks for having us. No, thank y'all for coming. And uh, Danielle mentioned when we got here, she had looked at the comments for the last video, and I was like, oh, no. <laughs> and I thought she was going to tell me to put the camera away, don't film this time. But no, she did actually want to talk about a lot of you guys asked, why did they stop selling on eBay? And why are they selling all the stuff that they work so hard to source? Like, what is going on here? And... Uh, rather than me answer it because honestly i don't really exactly know uh danielle wanted to talk about it yeah so we started selling on ebay well myself in 2005 as extra income mm -hmm. um my husband retired in 2009 yes he's young but he he, he does look very young from a government position and he started selling so we were both selling full-time he was doing the sourcing um and the researching and i was doing the majority of the listing um, we sold from 2005 to 2020. Um, as you know, when uh, you are a reseller, you have that self-employment tax. You're considered self-employed. Yep. Well, all of our children left home. I was offered a career position that I took. Um, so that's why we stopped. Okay. Tax purposes. When you don't have Easy those enough. tax write-off with those kids anymore, that's right. it's yeah. very expensive. Um and we also sold our house whenever the kids moved out and just moved into a townhouse. And we just need to get rid of all of this stuff. Well, we're, we're here for you because we're still doing it. So do you miss doing it? Um, I don't. He does. He really, really enjoyed Are, it. I mean, I did it so long that I just kind of got burned out. Right. You know, yeah. especially being the one doing all the research and the, the listing. I mean, he listed too. Well, you did yes. it for 15 years. I did it for 15 years. That's a long time. Yeah. Yes, 15 years. So do you enjoy your current job better than you did? Like, what do you miss about doing, like, selling on eBay? Nothing. Nothing? I don't. You don't miss the flexibility or the quote unquote freedom of it or anything like that? Not now. If I was if I was still in that time frame where my kids were still at mm -hmm. home and I was homeschooling them and th that flexibility, yes. But now I really now that they're all gone and I enjoy my job. So that played a role then, that flexibility you got at the time played a role in you doing it then? Is that absolutely Okay, well that's yes. okay. That yeah. makes sense. Yeah. Yes. No, we find the same thing. Like the flexibility, it's like, it's a really hard way to make an easy living kind of thing. You know, like you can work however, like any 60 hours or 70 hours oh, a week you want, like kind of thing. Yes. So yes. I could definitely understand. Mm -hmm. I, I get it. I get it. So yeah, everyone that was asking, that is why. So you didn't fail? No, we did no. not fail. We were very, very successful. And you you didn't you didn't go broke doing didn't it. Didn't go broke doing it. Okay, okay. <laughs> did not go broke. We 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 did very very well. I mean, we I mean, we, we made a living off of it for probably feedback. yeah. I have probably over ten thousand feedback, all positive. Okay. He probably yeah. has about eight thousand. Yeah. Not yeah. that we hadn't got a negative. Me, but yeah. yeah. Oh, oh no, I get yeah. I've been checking. I haven't had it. Oh man, I should. Well, never mind. I'm not even gonna say it. I'm not even gonna say it. <laughs> it's been a while. I'll just say that. Yeah. Well, uh, okay. Well, that answers that then. Let let us know if y'all have any more questions because I think we're coming back next week. Yeah. So or not anything. Don't ask just anything. <laughs> ask reasonable questions. They might get answered. <laughs> but thank you very much, Danielle, for giving yeah. a little context. Yeah. Um, Y'all ready to take a look at a few things? Go ahead. All right, Candace. Uh, is this empty? That's yes. empty. This is the stuff that was in there. That's one of those big coffin, yes. coffin <laughs> bins. Man, those things are. Whew. Look, it's the eh, eh, eh thing. <laughs> the, oh, the club. Yeah. <laughs> I've sold a few clubs. Let's see. Record, stereo, computer. Okay. Caller ID. I did look this up last time. Y'all showed some of this to us last time. Yeah. I think y'all looked through before. the boxes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. yeah we looked through a few boxes that were over here. Okay. TP link. What the heck is that? Beige. That's a, that's a, um, a speaker. 
basically. It's a, a boat but it's a, it, no, it's not a boat speaker. Boat it's speaker. a kind of a alarm speaker, I think. Oh, like a horn, like a siren kind of. Okay. Gotcha. It looks like, looks like it's prop. Is it new old stock in there? Oh, it sure looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's never been installed. Okay. Okay, there's a whole thing of bat, like, these are little, little camera cell type battery. Oh, look, these are still good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Best before 2028. These are, these are like the camera types, right? I believe so. Man, that's a whole thing of them. What you got? I'm not sure. What, what is this, Kevin? Uh, that's, uh, that's the networking uh, stuff. That, that. This whole box? Yeah. Candace, we, did you look at the overalls and stuff over here? What is this? That's tough built. They, they look they look new. I don't know if they are or not. Yeah, they are. They look new. Well, Who is what what school is this? I am not sure. We it says, I want to say that was uh I kind of looked it up. I want to say it was from like the AFL. You remember the Arena? Uh, arena football. Yeah. Okay. Have you ever have you ever sold arena football? Arena football? No. It's, it's, it sells good. <laughs> Man, what are this is a That's military. Yeah, this is a uh, is that a flight suit? It's like an old flight suit, huh? FedEx. Okay. Can't sell that. <laughs> I got a really nice uh we need to. I got I got a really nice made in USA vintage UPS hat. It'd probably probably sell for twenty five to thirty bucks. Uh uh. Candace, check this out. It's the moon. It's a globe of the friggin' moon. I've never seen that. I've never seen one either. Isn't that cool? And look, you can see the the other side too. Some of the landings and the different uh, geographical names. And you can see there. the dark side. The dark side ain't dark. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Lonnie. No, you know what I'm talking about. You realize we always see the same face of the moon, right? Do we? It yeah. doesn't ever rotate? No. Oh, see how we like always the see that's the dark side of the moon. But here okay. it's 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 lit. It's lit, as they say. Mm -hmm. Where is the uh landing? Yeah, there it is. It's right there. They have they have it on a globe like it rotates, but it doesn't in reality. Doesn't rotate. Oh that's, well I mean it does rotate. Well, we're, yeah. It actually does rotate, but it rotates at the exact rate. So the other side of the world does, sees okay. our dark side? Yeah. No, that doesn't no. Nobody ever sees the dark side. Well then it doesn't rotate. It does. It has to rotate because it, the moon goes around the earth. We okay. just and rotate so with it like this. If it did if it didn't rotate on its own axis, then we would, would see eventually the world would see here, I want you Okay. Pretend I'm the earth. Okay. Go see? around me. All right. Now but if I don't, these people are seeing the other side. Exactly. That's what I said, and you said no. Right, because that's not what happens. <laughs> it rotates on its own axis at the exact rate to always face the Earth with the same side. You see <laughs> what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Did you say so? I, I've been reading a lot of flat Earth stuff, and okay. that was one of the things that they are really skeptical about. Okay. So I can see that. Okay, oh. after that, uh, man, I hope this move starts moving a little faster. Sorry, I distracted you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like talking about that kind of stuff. Okay, got some toners. Is these all That's Xerox maintenance kit? I've seen those before. Xerox, is this Xerox branded? It is, yeah. I think. Yes, okay, cool. Toner is one of our favorite things, of course. Does anything sell faster than toner? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ink cartridges too. Man. TI calculators. <laughs> they sell fast. I've sold a few of the. T I sold the TI eighty nine, mm. the eighty four school only. That didn't work. I sold it parts okay. only. Oh, wow. Okay. So yeah, we've been moving through some inventory, y'all. Good. How's the razors doing for y'all? We actually sold the razors are doing good. Yeah. We sold a bunch of stuff we to. We sold two today. A forty dollar one and a. $20. A $20 one. And then we had somebody in Canada uh, buy a bunch of stuff the they other day. Four displays and two razors. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Good. And, we, and she's barely touched yeah. the razors. I just, I, we did all the displays and then I just started really getting into the razors. So, I oh. think that was the best oh. thing to let go was the razors. They're, they're cool. <laughs> yeah, they're, a good, easy ship and 
This is good stuff here. Yep. And sit film. He was so excited. It used to be anyway. I know it was No, I think it still is. Although they now sell. Did you know they sell new film now? Really? I, but this is different though. This is not, I think. If it's all put, no, the, you see. It's a specialty uh, one, isn't it? Right, this is Time Zero and SX70, whatever the heck that is. Okay. Interesting. Okay, we got some uh, Kenmore Elite air filters. All right, that's a fun little box there. Okay, and then we have more of those Kenmore Elite air filters. And we do have, oh, we do have a bunch of water filters and stuff like that. We've had mixed results with that stuff in the past. Yeah. All right. Oh, look, Candace. There. I know, those are cool, huh? Oh, we've had stuff like that before. Yeah. Berlin wall. Those little lead guys. Citadel miniatures, look, 1997. We we really do not know that much about this. I, had, I didn't either. It was a lot, a lot of research. I had tons of it. I mean, like tons from Guy, and finally I just started drawing lots because it's yeah. so much different genre or whatever. We've got a bunch of it. license plates here. What what do you know about license plates? Not much. Uh, I, I really that was just part of my like collection. That Dirt, I, Dirt, I, I, he had it hanging up. Kind of hanging up in I guess you can sell them long as they're not current. Oh, you can sell them. Yeah. Oh, you can't yeah. even if they're not current. Well, I mean, none of these. These are all like seventies. Seventies. Yeah, but you know, like if if we had like a license plate made a year ago, could we? I don't you know. know. Look, we got some big old heavy. Uh, some bookends. Bookends. Brass ducks. There's a single one that we were talking about. And look, here is. How does that happen? Kempo Korea 304th Signal Battalion. Man, look at this. Have you ever felt a heavier plastic? Mug? Oh, is that like um, what what do they call that stuff? It started with an M. It was made in the USA too. Melanine, mm. Melamac, Melamac or something. Melamac. Melamine. Yeah. Oh, these are um, that's that mobile. These are kind of that's weird. They're like from the heat, probably from heat. Somebody putting hot drinks in them, probably. Yeah. Uh. I mean, it's not messed up. Like, you could probably still drink out of it. But... Yeah. And this one's kind of like that, too. This is pretty. Right. Look at the track. The tracks on this guy have seen better days. That, that will actually still sell. Good, though. That's, uh, I got that in a, an estate sale. Do you know no, what brand uh, it is? Trash and treasure. It's a, it's, I think it's a Marks. It's a Marks. I, I so. Candace, would you look at it? But even with the uh, the tracks messed up, it'll still it'll mm -hmm. still good. Is it run? It, it was it was making noises this morning. Was it? Uh huh. <laughs> oh yeah, the wheel just started. Okay. The key. The name? I don't see it anywhere, but I'll be able to find it. Okay. Yeah. And below, over there by that, an Edsel. Careful! I think it comes off. Yeah. Did something fall? Oh, there's a beanie baby tag under there. Mm. Okay. So the box, the box is under there. That's that was the stuff where the yeah, stuff yeah, was yeah. at. Yeah. Okay. Cool. This is Kramer. Who is that? He played for the Vikings. Tom. Tommy Kramer. Tommy Kramer. Okay. A little bit before my time. Who was the commissioner? Yeah, probably, probably mine too. Probably, probably when I was a kid. I think he played. Or maybe. Uh, That's a cool football too. Yeah. Is this an amp? That is an eight track player. Portable eight track. Oh. <laughs> what? Oh. Yeah. Have you ever run across those? I've never seen anything like that. Have you ever played one? Yeah, we we had eight tracks when yeah. we were kids still. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know. I did. I did. They were kind of unique. I, I mean, I, I didn't have a car. Well, no. I mean, your parents didn't have eight tracks? They probably did and in their vehicles. My first yeah. had an 8-track, I <laughs> My mom's Trans Am probably did. Look at these things. These hard hats. That's fiberglass, too. That's cool. That's Somebody customized that'll, it. That'll, that'll mm -hmm. sell good. I've sold those in the past. Huh, that's interesting. Mm. And the 
The aluminum, yep. He sold a lot of aluminum. That's oh, this, a pilot that's, helmet that's been yeah. uh, customized. <laughs> oh, a long time ago. That's an old customization, too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that, that looks like some trench art almost. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at those shoulder pads. Yep. What does that say on it? Babe Perilli? Yeah. Man. It's made for a baby? Look how small those it's are. Definitely used. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know. Hey, this is Stetson. Hmm, it's, it's a Stetson, Stetson. brand. Okay. okay. Yeah. Got some playing cards down there. What is that? Jimbo's what? Jimbo's 99. Jimbo's 99. A card game. Oh. I've never heard of that. All right, that is. Well, you have a bag there. American Express. That's the Roman armor. Yeah, this is a whole set here, I think. It's like really heavy duty cosplay. It has the, uh, the hair, horse hair. The, ma the main, yeah. Oh, okay. That's a scabbard or something? Is that what that is? I don't believe that goes with that. Uh, it, I believe it's a rifle. Oh, a rifle case? Here you go. Yeah, that goes, that fits right in here on the helmet. You can do a little dusting. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It's a dual purpose. <laughs> and then it has, uh, I need to pull all it's this heavy. stuff out. It's so heavy. Yep. It's got the chest plate and what the leg plate. It has, the tunic. It has the, uh, yeah, the tunic. Mm -hmm. Some metal detectors, which I've sold before. <laughs> yeah. Don't love them. I'm always worried they're not going to work right or something. Oh, These sure. break down somewhat small, or I know not small, but smaller anyway. You could take them right. apart right there. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. What is the snapper part that's in here? That is a. Um, the deck for a, a, a rider, rider mower. Okay. It's a snap riser. Is that like a mulcher type thing or something? Or? I think it's just the deck that goes around it. You know, like the the um, the snap. You know, they make the the snappers. Yeah, you can. Know. They're a little bit smaller than your normal riders. Yeah, they are. So it's uh, the Forrest Gump mower. Right. <laughs> okay. New old stock parts for the Forrest. Okay. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, it's never been, never been used. Before. Wow, there, that might be. There's pro, there's got to be a market for that. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. All right, we got some puzzles. I want to see what's in that box, Candace. I know you do. That's why I'm taking. Well, this and look, out. there's Oak Grove got their own version of Monopoly. <laughs> yep. Of course, everybody gets that. Is this three chess sets down here? Complete, but they should be. Most of them are. Okay, those look like. Right. And, and this is some other. We got two different. Yeah, I might, I might include it uh, the, from a different set. I might have just put yeah, it Yeah, it looks like there there. may be two or three set pieces in here. Some different holsters. What the heck? Okay, and belts. What is this? I'm looking at here. Any idea? Uh, Look at that. It's, it's made in Japan. And we have a bunch of old scouting stuff in here, canteens. There's a Girl Scout one with no cover. We ended up, we had to, we did a little wheeling and dealing to get to the number. So, Candace is counting it out now. We ended up at 900 for everything in the hall. Then we added a few pieces. Yeah, luggage, um, that thing some vinyl. is worth... Probably what? about 200. What is that brand again? Brand new is like six or seven. Briggs and Riley. Briggs and Riley. And then we have a whole thing of vinyl here. And I did go, I went through just about every one. There's some good stuff in there. And then. Military clothing. We also have two totes of, there is some non-military, like this is an old starter jacket here. A little puffy starter jacket, but the rest of it is a bunch of military clothing. And this one too. And that one too. There's an Ike jacket. Yeah. The wool jacket. The Eisenhower thing. Yeah. And pants. And the pants. And the pants. 
That's so cool. Steph, sorry. Yep. We do not love selling clothing, but I don't mind selling military clothing for some yeah. reason. We've got a bunch of other clothing we got to get up there too. So. Yep. Yeah. You happy with the deal? I'm happy. Not really, huh? No, no I'm, he is. No, I'm happy. He is. I'm happy. It's just I'm trying to think on the on the fly, and I'm not. I get it. I get it. Yeah. I'm not real happy either. So that's that. Supposed to me, it's a good negotiation. Okay. So we just got through loading everything up. We did make some alterations to the deal because we weren't happy and then we did some other stuff and Kevin wasn't real happy and then we did some other stuff and then we were happy again and then Kevin was happy. I don't know. I think we're both kind of happy now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I think we're happy. Not not unhappy. No, no, no we're not not unhappy. That's, no, wait, that would be I don't know. But anyway, we ended up spending 900 bucks here. Is that right? Yeah, well, uh, did I don't know, did we show what I was that? starting to, but I'm losing track of what I videoed. We're going to we're going to do a haul and show yep. um everything. Um Man, it's gonna be hard though. The vinyl is pretty good. Yeah. The clothing, the military clothing is gonna be cool. Yeah. Except for the listing it part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, but, and then we're gonna come back. Uh, well, we're gonna come back when we come back. We haven't set that up yet. And then all we have left, Kevin, is right here. Is that right? Right, here, right, right down that wall. Right yeah. here. And this box is right here. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And uh, yeah, I, and I think. Uh, I think then that's going to be a wrap on that stuff. So, all right. Yes, well, and we thank y'all so, so, so. All right, y'all. It is the next day. We are at our storage. Yep. We're dropping stuff. <laughs> Ugh, dropping stuff off. Look, filled up the entire back, all the way up and all the way back. And then the, here's the back seat. So we definitely got a full load for the $900. Um, Thought we, maybe we could show them some vinyl or something yeah, because well, we didn't get a chance to show everything. Yeah, they ended up throwing some stuff into the deal, so we're gonna give you all a peek of some of that stuff. All right, so this is the vinyl that Kevin threw in to make the deal work, and I spot checked some of it. And the stuff that I looked at now, there are a few laser discs in there too, uh, maybe five to ten laser discs tops. That's a smaller record there. I can Tina Turner. But um and look, that's a KISS import. Sugar Hill Gang. And there is a little bit of new wave. Talk talk. It's my life. That's the one that uh Gwen Stefani redid years later. That one's upside down. That is uh who is that? Bangles? Bangles, that's yeah. The bangles. Yeah. Yep. Heat. Heart. Heart. Okay. Boxcar Willie. <laughs> uh, there's not like a lot of like uh, country or gospel or things like that. Like you'll usually see at garage sales or I will usually see mm -hmm. it. Kansas. Who that is? Christopher Cross. Village People. Elton John. That's a movie. Well, that's the uh, no. That's soundtrack. the soundtrack yeah. for the Who, I think. Wayne Newton. Human League. Seals and Croft. There's some good stuff in here. Howard, that was a Howard Jones back there. Toto. Toto. Asia? Is that what that is? That's yeah. what it looks like, yeah. Spyro Gyro. Spyro Gyro. Heart again. Triumph. Grease sound. Oh, that's the Broadway oh, soundtrack. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. So I'm a Garfunkel. Man, I've seen this cover so many, so times, many times at garage that. sales and stuff. Yeah. Usually not in very good shape. These are pretty good. I've had better condition like uh, jackets. But as far as like the, the vinyl I've looked at has been really good. We yeah. do have some more. There's that, some more. That, that was kind of tight in there. Yeah. And here's a few more. Hollow notes. Got some writing on it. Crusaders. Heart. Is that Henley? Yeah, yeah. Don Henley. David Bowie. David Bowie, Rat, Empire Strikes Back, Jungle Book. That's might that might be a movie. Let's see. Yeah, it's a laser disc. This probably is too. That huh? is too. And Howard the Duck. Howard the Duck is a laser disc. I guess we could lot those up, huh? Depends. Yeah, we'll look through them. Some there are a few laser discs that do really good. I've sold them in the past. Sly and the Family Stone. 
Miles Davis, Brampton. Secrets of Successful Duck Call. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah. Soul Train, Keith Green. Oh, awesome album. Probably right. one of my all-time favorites. Yeah, that's one of the all-time favorites, period. Talk, 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 talk again. That's Asia again. Yeah. And Keith Green. I don't even know who that is. So that's all the vinyl that we got in that deal. All right, this is another thing Kevin threw in. Um, this is Briggs & Riley brand luggage. It's a bolo. Look out for this brand. This new retails for like five, 600. I think we can sell it for 200. And it's just, you can feel the quality and how smooth it is. It rolls is, so yeah. well. When I rolled yeah. it up here, I was like, wow, that's nice. So yeah, Briggs and Riley, remember that brand. And I've, I've shipped luggage before. It's pretty easy and it's going to be difficult, especially for a quality piece. It's going to be pretty difficult for it to really get damaged unless you total like just. Yeah, the main thing I think is to make sure it's wrapped in plastic or something in case water gets into the box. Right. So the, since it is a fabric case. We'll garbage bag it. Yeah, that's the main thing we, we're going to need to worry about. Um, and yeah. then put it in a big box and resize the box down and boom, you're done. Yep. All right, so here are a couple of bins. It's mostly military clothing. Right. Like this is. Oh, here's some Boy Scout stuff too. Yeah, there is some Boy Scout stuff, which is kind of quasi-military, I guess. Yeah. This is an Eisenhower jacket and pants here, World War II. And I'm not going to go through all this stuff, but uh, there's some fatigues. Yeah. And just some a bunch of old, like most of this stuff is. Look, there was a sweater in here that I saw. You get it? Uh, yeah. Uh, be careful there. Don't rip it. Yeah. Radler's brand. This is like hunting. Or... Yeah, it's nice though, huh? Yeah. It's cool. Man, is this? It says real tree on it. Yeah. That's See like. That? Is that like some of the original real tree? I don't know. Yeah. But it looks awesome. Like made I'll... in USA. Yeah. Look how they. Uh, look how they made. They weave the pattern in. And they yeah the word real. Isn't tree. it awesome? Yeah. I think that's cool, man. Yep. That somebody will buy that. Y'all can see we just have piles of military and hunting vintage type stuff yeah and cool stuff too it's not just like BDUs, you know? right but yeah that was the other some other stuff that he threw into the deal to make it happen um because he originally wanted 800 not including the albums or this clothing or the, or the luggage yeah and then I, he ended up throwing that stuff in and we ended up coming up a hundred to make it work too. And everybody was reasonably happy at that point. Look at this, I just found some vintage Western shirts. Those are cool. You know, with the pearl snaps, look yeah, at that. Yeah, look at that, who? Big Smith, that's made in Korea. And this is by Linton, I don't see a made in, oh wait, made in Korea. So what's that usually like 80s i don't i have no idea okay. i've sold very little of that kind of thing yeah i mean there's stuff down in here we don't know exactly what we have but I it's think very i think it's a lot of good sellable stuff in we're here we're gonna though. find some treasures oh absolutely yeah i'm pretty excited about this as far as clothing goes this yeah this is kind of like how we like to deal with clothing really this right. kind of stuff just one-off type stuff all right, Candace told me not to show y'all this i said should we show them this there's a mess in here y'all Candace said no <laughs> <laughs> Hey, we're not doing bad, I don't think. You can at least get down the aisles. But, yeah, we're, yeah, we're okay. I mean, for what we've been... For Considering all... we picked up three truckloads of stuff in three weeks. Yeah, it's okay. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. Y'all can see uh, we have... Well, as long as you don't get killed, everything it's fine That's in here. Empty boxes. Okay. <laughs> Here's our back stock here. I don't think I know if we've ever showed that before. Yeah. Of our Monster High stuff. We do have more video game lots I need to make up because you can see we have a bunch of, uh, what do you call those? Like fruit trays or veg, what do you? Yeah, the produce trays. Produce trays, yeah. yeah. We got a few more flats of those. And we just been piling stuff up. And every now and then we're gonna come in here and pull stuff out the list. So, yep. all right, well that is, uh, that's gonna be it for this one. Hope y'all enjoyed, did a little something different this time. And we will see y'all again very soon. Thanks for watching, y'all. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.